Hi everybody, welcome to For Dan's Sake. I'm Natalie. I would like this video to be a bit different from my usual highlights videos. Instead of looking at my dance practice over the previous month, this time I'd like to reflect on my dancing over the last year. That's because October would have made one year. That was my one year anniversary of taking regular weekly ballet classes. And um, so I'm feeling a little bit, you know, celebratory. And I would like to maybe share a bit with you some of the ways that I've grown and some of the things that um, I'm still hoping for in the year to come. One of the things I'm really happy about is that I've been very consistent with my dance training over the last year. I haven't missed a single week without taking at least one dance class. So in a way, you know, it could be kind of easy for me because my dance class is probably one of the best moments of my week. I love it. But then as adults, you know, there are always things to do, always competing priorities, a lot of important things to do. And so I feel it's a bit of an accomplishment to have shown this type of you know, stick to itism that I have over the last year. And it says a lot, I think, for my interest level and my passion for ballet. So I want to tell you a bit about some of the ways that I think I've grown over the last year, taking regular weekly ballet classes. First of all, I think that my posture has gotten a lot better. When I started, I remember um, noticing what is called anterior pelvic tilt. So it's a type of posture where you sort of tilt your pelvis forward. I think it's forward. And it has the effect of making your butt stick out to the back and making your belly sort of protrude, look like it's protruding forward. So this is something I've had to make a lot of effort to improve over the last year. And I think that I am seeing the results of um, the effort I'm making. Um, I've also come to sort of understand a bit better how posture works as sort of a foundation for a ballet movement in general and enabling you to just execute some of these um, impressive, uh, amazing technical skills that ballet dancers are capable of. And so I think it's going to really help and it's already helping my dancing in general. It's more than just grace, but it's sort of a basic technical necessity in ballet. And I believe, you know, regular ballet dance uh, classes have helped, even though I always knew that posture is important for dance um, because I've always danced, but um, regular classes are helping to make the posture habitual for me, if you know what I mean. I think another way that I've improved is in my turnout. You know, I, turnout is sort of a part of ballet where your feet and your knees and your thighs are sort of rotated to be turned outwards from your body. And it's a really important part of the ballet aesthetic. So my turnout has improved over the last year. And how do I know this? There was a day, um, one day before class recently where you know, I looked down at my feet and I noticed I was standing in first position and both my feet were you know, very turned out. And I was thinking to myself, well, maybe I'm forcing something. And I remember lifting my eyes to my knees and my knees being pointed in the same direction as my feet. Um, and so at that point I said, wow, you know, I am improving. My turnout is improving from the, from the hip, not just from my feet being forced in the turned out direction. I think one thing that's helping my turnout is improving my posture but I've also changed the way that I think about turnout itself. Um, I have come to understand as I do more ballet that it's more sort of 
It's about actively engaging muscles. It's not just a physical ability that you are either born with or that you um, acquire after a time and then you have it, but it's actually working your muscles in a, in a sort of a way, in different positions, different muscles, so that um, you can achieve turnout in different positions. It's a really an active engagement thing. I think I'm stronger now than when I started dancing a year ago. And this is an easy one to like overlook or miss because when I'm in dance class, when I'm in ballet class, there are a lot of times where I still feel like I'm struggling. Well, what I don't have to remember is, what I have to remember is that there is sort of an incremental growth. And even though I still feel shaky a lot of the time, I'm not as shaky on things that I would have been shaky on a year ago. I noticed that, for example, with my releve, I might be in releve coupe, and I'm coping with that position better. Um, but let's say a releve arabesque, a releve um, on one leg, other leg in arabesque behind me, or attitude. Attitude is a really tough one. Okay, so that would, that's something I have to think about <laughs> and really try hard to achieve. And maybe next year it would be easier, but definitely more stable now, I can see it. And I think one important area of improvement for me is just generally understanding ballet better, um, just understanding ballet lines a bit better and the symmetry that's expected and the muscles that one has to work in order to achieve the lines, in order to you know, achieve that, the type of movement that comes with ballet. And also the effort, the effort that it actually takes. I feel like, okay, I have a deeper understanding of it than I did before. Um, and generally speaking, that's, that's more than I would expect, more effort in every area, more strength, more stamina, more thought, you know, more awareness, you know, so I'm learning still that, that, you know, every time I go to class, I realize that I have to challenge myself more than I expect um, in different kinds of ways. So the final thing that I would mention uh, as an area of growth for me over the last year is my confidence. So I feel that I have gotten more confident over the last year as a ballet dancer. And this is reflected in this channel, the fact that I have started it. It's something that I've been thinking about for some time, but I don't know, for a number of different reasons, um, I just didn't do it. So I finally did it. And in the process, um, I discovered, you know, a whole world that I didn't even realize was there before the whole um, ballet, adult ballet dance community online. Um, you know, it's been really wonderful finding so many other people that were adults like me, learning as adults and just enjoying ballet. So confidence, yeah, they have also helped me to become more confident and find my place as an adult ballet dancer. And it's been great. You may have noticed that I don't say that I'm better at any particular skill. And the reason why I don't mention it is because I'm still trying to assess whether I am really improving at particular skills. There are some days where I feel like, wow, you know, this is great. Uh, I'm doing well at my pirouettes. I'm able to do a double. And then there are other days when yeah, I don't have the ability to turn at all. Um, some days I think my extensions are getting higher in developé and some days not. The progress doesn't seem to be linear. And so um, we'll see over the coming year what happens if, if um, I can say, okay, yes, yes, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing improvement at particular skills. I'm hoping so. One of the areas that I would like to improve on in my next year of ballet training is my balance. I would like to see a more strength in my ability to balance, particularly on one leg. So I'm working on my proprioception. Uh, so that has to do with the ability to um, know where your body is in space, 
without using your eyes. Uh, mine could use some work. So I'm working on my proprioception, um, strengthening my feet with daily exercises, especially my left foot, which is a lot weaker than my right foot for some reason, probably because I always favor my right foot. And so um, I'm, I'm already working on this. And I'd also love to see better uh, extensions, both in terms of my flexibility and my strength. So my ability to lift my leg higher. I would love to see this. Okay, so I suffered a setback this year. I strained my left hamstring. I don't know what it is about the left side of my body, but there you have it. Um, everything was going great with my flexibility training and then I don't know, I guess I just missed the signals it was sending me and just pushed a little bit too hard. And before I knew it, um, I was dealing with a strain. And so I'm just trying to, to work on that. It's not the first time that I've strained a hamstring. So I know it can get better, but it does take time and it takes, it takes effort to keep on mm, doing the right types of exercises and stretches to see it improve. But as soon as that's better, I'll be doing more flexibility training. And in the meantime, I work, I'm working on my hip flexors, building strength so that maybe I can get my leg up higher eventually. So the last thing I would mention as something I would like to see in my next year of ballet training is that I would just love to be just as consistent as I am now and just as excited, just the same enthusiasm and the same love for ballet as I have now, or even more as, as time goes on. Yeah, so I'm just looking forward to continuing what I'm doing and enjoying it. So that brings me to the end of my video. And if you are starting out as a new adult ballet dancer, or you're starting regular ballet classes for the first time, you know, I hope that my video will maybe help you to get a sense of some of the ways that you might see improvement over your first year. Everybody's different naturally, and you might not see the same things I've seen, but you may, you may share some of the same experiences. And if you are at a similar stage as I am, uh, you could let me know in the comments what your experiences have been like and you know how you have grown over your last year of ballet training so that's it uh this video was a bit different from what i normally would do you know more of a sort of a face-to-face -face talk through my camera but i really did enjoy making it it was um it was different but it was fun and i hope that you also enjoyed it and you could let me know what you think I probably will do more like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.